If you're new to my channel, my name is Ohema. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, hey. the last time I used powder foundation was whenever I started doing makeup. It was by a very small brand because at that time, there really weren't any foundations that matched my skin tone. And yes, it was crazy. I think I still have the videos on my Instagram. I'll try to link it down below so you can check it out. But today I am going to be trying out a powder foundation. And I'm not talking about pressed powder. I am talking about a loose powder foundation. It has been so long since I have seen a loose powder foundation that I can use, especially from a brand that I've heard nothing about. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so the brand I'm talking about is The Good Mineral and the powder is called Loves You Back 3-in-1 Powder Foundation. I have the three deeper shades over here. I don't know which shade is going to match me very well because I have swatched them on the back of my hand. They look almost similar, but hopefully once I apply it on, it's going to look different. Hey guys, editing on him right here. 12 shades is a lot for a very small indie brand. However, the shades are really not deep enough. And I feel like the Good Mineral could definitely benefit from adding some more deeper shades to their range. So let me tell you about the product. It says that the Loves You Back 3-in-1 Powder Foundation comes in 12 shades. It's 0.35 ounces and it retails for 39 zwallas. It's oil free, fragrance free, preservatives free, talc free, vegan, cruelty free. That's a lot of freeze. The product should be free. <laughs> okay. Can be used as concealer, foundation, and powder, and it's great for acne prone skin. And because of all the powder in there, they're saying that it's gonna help me balance my natural oils and it's gonna look good. It's perfect for anybody that wants to get a natural skin appearance to their makeup, and it's weightless, buildable coverage, and it's non comedogenic. And non comedogenic means that anything that's not going to clog your pores, which is going to cause you to get acne. So now, before this video, I got to meet with the co-owner of the good mineral what i learned from my meeting was that whenever you're applying powder foundation you have to make sure that your face is not like sticky wet for example whenever you're applying your cream and liquid foundations you can get away with using a sticky makeup primer essentially they don't want you to put too much product on your skin so that your face is too sticky so that the powder doesn't get to glide on your skin so this morning, what I did was after I did my routine, my face was looking a bit too dry. So I put some of my dewy skin serum and my mini dewy skin cream. And that's why my skin is glowing. So what I'm going to do now is use the Patrick Star One Size Secure the Blur Primer. And I'm using Secure the Blur because it dries down. It doesn't get tacky. So we're just going to let this sit for a little bit because I need my skin to be semi-dry before we go in with the powder. Okay, my skin is dry but hydrated. As you can see, okay, let's pick a spot. Pick a spot. You see, there's a spot right here, and right here is darker. Obviously, my under eyes are going to be a bit darker as well. We're gonna go in with the shade Coco 6. This is what Coco 6 looks like on the inside. They actually sent over a brush, and this is called the Iconic Flat Blending Brush. I'm taking the brush that I'm gonna stick it in here. Swirl it around. Ooh. I'm going to pat it off because I don't want to have excess product on it. Powder foundations can get everywhere, okay? And because they're so pigmented, they stain everything. <laughs> the moment of truth. There it is. You can see it. We're going to pick this spot to see if we can cover that. And we're also going to see if we can cover this without changing our skin tone too much. So let's go in with the shade Coco 6. Honey, definitely blurred out. It's definitely blurred out, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at look at this. Do you see this? It's gone. Do you see that mark that was on my forehead? Like every time I I'm I get so scared when I have to try something new because I don't really know what it's gonna look like. But as soon as I put it on and it's banging. It's like, it gives you the vim, you know, it gives you vim to go some more. I don't know, I don't know how to explain vim, but just gonna cover that part a little bit more. Wow. Patting it in instead of swiping because I don't want to swipe the powder off my skin. Okay, good mineral, we see you. We see, we see you. Do you see this? I like what it looks like. 
it looks really good it literally matches my skin tone beautifully i feel like it balances out the darker parts of my face and the lighter parts of my face this shade looks good right now but i can't really do a full coverage because then it starts looking very very light on my skin tone so in order for me to be able to use this it has to be a very light coverage look to get it from looking so uneven to get it to look even this is without foundation and this is with the foundation let me know if you see a difference because i i see it i see that my skin is even and more beautiful on this side but when it comes to the skin tone it literally looks like i have nothing on my face you can build this up to any intensity that you want medium light full whatever okay because they said we can use this as a foundation concealer and powder i'm going to take the shade coco 4 okay and i'm going to use coco 4 as my concealer because on a regular day i don't like my conceal to be too bright compared to my under eyes so i'm taking coco 4 in the good mineral angled brush this is supposed to be for contour but i never use a brush for what it's supposed to be used for i'm gonna apply some of coco 4 under my eyes to see what it can do for me like what can you do for me right now it's giving slight brightness without looking like i did too much i'm also gonna put it on my eyes to even it out honey i look awake this looks like i'm awake it looks Looks beautiful looks like skin I I am in love with this I don't have to do extra I look like I didn't try I haven't tried a loose powder foundation in so long and I haven't tried a loose powder foundation that was deep enough to make it look this good on my skin so like wow I have goosebumps like I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side of my face so that we can be done with it I want to I want to contour and everything just so I can see what everything looks like we're going in with coco 4 as our concealer okay i'm gonna use the same brush and my one size bronzer palette i'm trying not to use any cream products in this routine <laughs> apply some blush i have never said i want a brighter under eye but i'm gonna try it i'm taking their shade coco 2 i'm gonna apply a little bit more of that powder under my eyes just to see what it do this is coco 2 so it's gonna be brighter than the coco 4 that i tried on my under eye i'm almost done with this um elf matte blotting mist it looks like i woke up and my skin was just as flawless and i absolutely love it Hey guys, so I don't really know what time this was. However, I did film like five videos and I also went to watch a movie and it was probably around 1 a.m. This is what my skin looks like. Of course, I filmed on a Samsung, so it's not very, you know, like 4K, but this is what my skin looks like. Let me know what you think down below because I think the Good Mineral definitely did that.